This is a video where you can listen while getting some stuff done. So let's get into it. Well, hey guys, it's Nikki here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a topic for you, a topic of discussion. You know, when I do any of these types of discussions, there's really no uh, interaction with my dogs. It's just pictures. You can go around, walk around, do what you need to do. Listen, put your input down below, comment, or make a video of your own. You know, I love to see that and i love to see what you guys think so let's get into this topic i wanted to talk about today the pros and cons between masterpiece dolls and reborn dolls um if you're looking at my screen you see on the left hand side a masterpiece on the right hand side a reborn doll and so um with my recent videos dealing with um a masterpiece doll that was currently available through Ashton Drake. Uh, I just really wanted to talk about the difference of the two. Now, if you have been in the community a long time, there, you know, there is no need to really know the difference. You know just as much and more than I do. But if you find that I missed something out or whatever, please feel free to comment down below or make a video as well. But for you guys that are beginners, welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you enjoy what you see. I really like to try to teach people and get into the habit of, you know, um, this hobby. Because it can be very daunting and it can be a little stressful if you don't know what you're looking for. Now, just recently, last year, I started getting really, really into Masterpiece Dolls. But we will get into Masterpiece first. Let's talk about Reborn Dolls. Um, so what I love about reborn dolls is the hyper realism. They look exceptionally like a real baby. Um, you can really trick someone into thinking that this is a real baby, you know, take them out on outings and just dress them up and it will take your breath away for a second, especially if you do get a doll that is very hyper realistic. The tea dailing, the veining, the blushing, special marks, rooting, the weight of the doll, this all contributes to the fact of the doll being so lifelike it's just an amazing experience the excitement is unreal and there are so many amazing artists that are coming onto the scene that's already on the scene that's pumping up the game there's so many sculpts out there so there's almost a 100 percent guarantee you will find what you're looking for a type of baby a style whatever the case may be you're going to find it the, the ideas of dressing it up by enclosing accessories is a hobby within itself, guys. So you can find a lot of hobbies within this one hobby. Okay, let's talk about the cons. Okay, it could be the price. Now, if you're willing to pay high dollar for your doll or pay for the details, you are. Um, that can sort of be a little off-putting to people why they may go and venture out for a, or a doll that is less expensive or it's not in your budget. But the price can be pretty high, you know, um, depending on what type of doll you get. The thought of getting scammed is very easy now to get scammed in this hobby because it's such a big commodity right now and people want in on that money cow. So you have to be very leery and careful of where you decide to get your doll from. Um, customs, if you decide to get a custom made doll with the artist, it may not turn out like you want it to look. So you have to think about that. And if you don't know how to repair a doll like me, I just made a video on that. That can be daunting as well because if something happens, you need to know how to fix it. So that could be just a con in itself, right? So let's go to Masterpiece Dolls. Masterpiece Dolls are not necessarily just looking very lifelike as a reborn, but they're pretty fun to play with. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can get from a baby to a toddler and what I like about masterpiece dolls right now are that they are very big dolls and I want a toddler so um, as you can see on my screen there's my twins the M&M twins and I got these dolls from Ashton Drake and um, I just really wanted to be forthcoming about uh, when you decide if you want a masterpiece doll the the um, pros of a masterpiece doll if you decide to get a toddler they're huge compared to a reborn if you get a masterpiece doll instead of a reborn toddler the price point is going to be way lower so there is something to consider um 
The faces are aesthetically pleasing if the detailing is right. I mean, I don't see anything that uh, I don't like about some of the dolls. They look very cute and very just their face, their face matches their age. So just a happy go lucky toddler. I love that shopping for bigger clothes. If you like bigger dolls, depending on, um, if you're looking for a toddler, again, this is a pro for Reborns and Masterpiece. Any doll that you get in collection is just fun to shop for, right? Um, they they ship quite fast depending on where you get them from. Ashton Drake ships really, really fast. Um, it is one of their best features, I think, is the how fast the doll will get to you. Um, the price point. The price point is listed um both here in the con and the pro area and why i say the price point is because like i said if you decide to get a uh toddler masterpiece you're going to pay way less than you would for a reborn toddler because the artist actually is putting more work more layers of paint and things like that so let's talk about the cons of masterpiece their vinyl may be warped sometimes meaning their vinyl may not look exceptionally smooth uh, you may see some areas that don't look too hot so um their vinyl also is harder than a reborn doll so it's not like the same texture it's just like that hard plastic but again um i do enjoy that as well to me i like to wipe them down and i don't worry about messing them up so i can wipe them down when i change their clothes i love the aspect of that another con though is the wig can be high quality but it's nine times i'm out of ten they're not placed uh, aesthetically pleasing they are not placed right on the head so you can't do re really many hairstyles with them or anything like that so you have to be particular with however they place that wig is just about how their hair is going to be they no longer make masterpiece dolls like the sculptures they're now through ashton drake ping lao is a big sculptor that helps design dolls that goes through ashton drake that's naming just one but when Masterpiece dolls were being made, there was so many artists that you can choose from to get a doll. And now they do not make Masterpiece dolls. So I see the appeal to go like to Amazon and get a Masterpiece doll, which they're not Masterpiece dolls, but because the sculptor didn't make them. But still, they are... Uh, it's very very similar because you know they don't make them anymore now the price point has gone up on masterpiece dolls because again this is a cash cow people are really into toddlers and big dolls and things like that so if somebody is selling an authentic masterpiece doll they may sell it for way more than what the other doll was so yeah you could play a pretty penny for a doll that's is no longer made and you've been looking for it so that's something also to consider so let's talk about how do i feel about both um i like reborns and masterpiece dolls there are price points on both i mean not price points there are selling points on both there is cons on both and um like with the masterpiece you're not going to get the shading um or the complexion to be very more realistic to like skin tones and things like that but they're adorable nonetheless and i have found within the last year that i really really enjoy masterpiece dolls there are two masterpiece dolls that i am looking for that are hard to find and when i have found them again a con of the masterpiece doll they are really high up there because people know they're no longer being made and so the jump point is pretty high so yeah there are my um my pros and cons for both reborns and masterpiece dolls i hope this helped you out um like i said i love both uh, always be careful when you're purchasing a doll and to be vigilant in researching and knowing what you're buying things like that depending on what you like it's all about what we like it's all about what you like in collection no matter what anybody says this is your collection that's personally owned to you that's in your home that you gravitate to so it doesn't matter what other people think they're your dolls that you love so always remember that and remember just to have fun with them and enjoy it and i have found it so very exciting to learn that i am evolving and learning and loving more about different types of dolls than i really started with so guys i hope this video was fun for you 
guys have a great day and we'll see you on another one.